Hey guys, Alyssa here. Welcome back to another video. So Orange Realms just released patch 0.14.0, also known as the Stone Cold update. There is a lot of stuff that has been added in this update. There's Christmas cosmetics, tools, furniture. There's also a new mob, a vehicle, a bunch of new biomes. They've also added support for 1.18 and kind of made their own version of the cave update. There's also new structures and blocks. There's just, there's just a lot in this update. So I'm going to be going over everything in this video. If you'd like to check out the update for yourself, the IP is play.orgerealms.com. It will also be linked in the description. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. All right, I think we'll get started with the Christmas stuff first. As you can see, the lobby is completely decorated for Christmas. There's snow all over the lobby. There's all these decorations and furniture. We have this really cool tree that's in the center of spawn. And as I mentioned earlier, they've added a bunch of Christmas cosmetics, a tool set and furniture. So I think we should go ahead and buy some Christmas keys so I can get started on collecting some of those items for myself. So let's go ahead and head over to the Orange Realm store. All right, here we are. Oh, and also if you spend over $20, you get a free Christmas crate key. That's great. Hmm, I think I'll buy 10 of them. I think that's good enough. And here it shows you all the stuff you can get in the crate keys. This is the really rare one. I hope I can get one of these at some point. And they're going for quite a lot of rubies right now. Okay, let's go ahead and buy these. All right, in any second now, I should be receiving my keys. Oh, hey, it's my brother. What's he doing here? Oh, there's my keys. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and start opening these. Hopefully you can get some good stuff. I opened a couple last night when the update dropped because I was able to buy some. Ooh, they have music. Nice. Santa slide um decor um do i want to keep this i feel like this is one of the more rare furniture ones I think that's what i saw you know what? i'll take it all right let's go ahead and open up another one i will take a golden santa hat i highly doubt i'll get a golden santa hat from any of these but what <laughs> i got the sleigh again okay <laughs> nutcracker no pass on that i can probably buy one for like 7k from the auction house Christmas tree. The Christmas tree looks really cool, actually. Probably my favorite Christmas um, furniture I've seen so far. Large present. Okay, not too bad. I rolled all of all of those were decorations. Snow creeper. I'd like a tool or or cosmetic. Best of axe. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Here we go. There's one down. I have I actually I actually got this earlier. I, I I may as well just take it off of, off of the auction house because I bought a key from someone and that's what I got earlier. So might as well keep it since I don't have one anyway. Snowman. I love the music in the background. The crate animations are always really cool. Nutcracker. <laughs> Why do I keep getting like so much furniture? Come on, cosmetic. Golden sand hat. Snowman. Okay. Oh, candy cane staff. Let's go. The cosmetic I think I like the most, because I briefly saw them um, last night, is the, there's like a snow globe with these little penguins in it. I think that one looks really cute. So hopefully, hopefully I can get that one. If not, I'll have to buy it from someone. Please? Okay. Been rolling a lot of furniture here. We are now halfway through. Ginger, gingerbread shield, let's go. Yo, the shields are always so cool. Well, it's even animated too. Nice. Actually, everything's animated here. The tool set's animated. That's really neat. It's funny how like Santa's just like peeking out of the, uh, the chimney and just goes right back up. Festive ho. Hoes are always worth the least, so I think I'll re-roll that. I want to try to go for like the best stuff. Reindeer antlers! Yes! Okay, three more to go. Snowman. I'm honestly loving this update so far. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, so... I really like all the stuff that Orange Realms has added. <gasps> no way! <laughs> okay! Okay! That's awesome. 2021 exclusive. <laughs> Yes! I was not expecting to get that! <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. I, that would have been um, really unfortunate if I actually like, clicked reroll. Snow globe, okay. Nice. This is going well. It started off kind of not the best because I got all these like, um, well this one's really good. But I was getting uh, the furniture, but it's turned out pretty good now. 
Now it's time for the last key. I know someone was offering like 400k earlier for Golden Santa Hat. But um, I think I'll keep it. I don't think I'm gonna sell it to anyone. How many times have I rolled the Nutcracker though? Festive Shovel. I already have one. Okay, let's see what the last thing is. Oh, gingerbread house. Okay. Not bad. Do I have a gingerbread house? Did I already get one? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, I didn't get any doubles, so that's awesome. Alright, for my 11 keys, I got a golden sand hat, three other Christmas cosmetics, I got an axe, a shield, and then five furniture. So that's pretty good. Quite happy with what I got. Alright, now that we've opened all our keys, let's go ahead and start balloon hunting. Because they have added a new balloon crate for Christmas. It's a Santa sleigh with a present in it and you can shoot it down and you can get some exclusive Christmas furniture from it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head into the resource world and see if we can find any. Oh, there's a balloon. It's a normal purple one though. That's not what I'm looking for. I also realized they added some new ambient sounds. Like, look at, take a look at this. It's like snow? I don't hear like a snowstorm. The wind. Yeah, the ambient sounds are really cool. That's a nice little feature. Anyways, back to looking for balloons. I don't know how low the chances are, but you can also get Christmas crate keys from from the Santa sleigh balloons. Um, I have yet to get one, but hopefully I can get one during the time this Christmas update, though. There's a fair amount of furniture and decorations you can get from the balloons, though. So it'll be fun collecting all of those. What's not fun is trying to find one of these, because I can't- I still can't- look it! It's a normal one. Still can't find one. Yesterday I got like seven balloons in a row, which was really lucky, but not a single one was a Christmas one. Finally! There's one! Okay, 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 okay. Shoot it down. That is such a cool feature there. Where, you, like, where it like takes off, flies away once you shoot it down. And then you hear that little sound effect. Let's see, what did I get? Small present, snow globe, and a gingerbread ornament. Nice! It's pretty good. And just in the nick of time, it's literally about to turn night.
All right, now it is time to talk about a new region in Origin Realms, the Arctic. I'm honestly really happy that we finally have um, snowy biomes here now. We have the Ice Spikes biome, I believe it is. And right now we're in snowy plains. And yeah, there's lots of cool new things that came with these biomes as well. Um, we have icicles in the game now. These are pretty cool. Nice things to decorate with. And uh, we have, what is this again? I believe this is, yeah, cotton grass. That's what I thought it was. Um, there's a lot of cool new blocks here. I'll have a list of them on the screen now, hopefully with a picture. If not, it'll just be a list of like every block. The most exciting thing about this biome though, is you can find penguins. So I was actually unable to find any penguins in the resource world. But my sister set her realm to a snowy region and we were able to find some penguins here. These guys are really cute and they also make some really cool noises. I love that they added sound effects. They're usually found traveling around in packs or in penguin dens. These guys like to slide around on their bellies and when they do that, they have a chance of dropping a feather and you can use feathers to craft sledge, which I'll be getting to in a second here. Um, you can breathe them with any type of fish. So let's go ahead and breed those two. And once you do that, as you can see, um, if he turns around, the penguin has an egg now. And I don't know how long it takes for it to hatch, but over time the egg will start cracking and once that is done, um, you'll get a baby penguin. As you can see, this egg over here is slightly cracking open um, compared to this one right here, it's just normal. But yeah, these penguins are so cute, I love them. But yeah, as I just mentioned, you can get feathers from these guys when they slide around. Um, they have a chance of dropping them. And you can use those feathers to craft a sled, and you only need two of them. So you put two feathers here, use four planks of your choice, because you can make a bunch of different kinds of sleds. Um, the sled looks different depending on what type of wood you use. It also works with all of Origin Realms custom wood types, so that's pretty cool as well. Let's go ahead and place this down, and let's go for a ride. I need like a hill or something. I need like a really tall hill. Uh, will it work well up here? Let's try it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit laggy. That wasn't too bad. You can also make ramps with this. Let's go ahead and do this real quickly. But uh, um, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> what happened there? Let's go. Hey. Okay, that was really small, but you get you get the point. I actually came across this really big ramp or whatever for uh sledding in the resource world yesterday. So I'll go ahead and play that clip now.
But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, sleds are really, really cool. It's probably one of my favorite things about this update. Also, as long as you use the sled on either ice or snow, I believe it doesn't lose any durability. But yeah, I think I've covered everything that has to do with the snowy region. Um, they've also added a ton of other new biomes. Besides the snowy taiga and snowy tundra, they've also added a oasis biome, new palm trees and wood type, oceans, beaches, jungle oasis, mountains, mountain valleys, flower forest, birch forest, forest clearing, cold autumn forest, and a giant tree taiga. I have some screenshots on the screen right now, but sadly I wasn't able to check out or find all of these biomes um, in the resource world. I tried my best to look for some of these, but I just couldn't find them. But yeah, hopefully you guys will be able to check out those biomes for yourself in the future. Because just from a few pictures in the blog post, they look really cool, especially the Oasis biome. There's also some new structures in the game. We talked about a couple of them already. We have minor outposts, improved desert well variants, giant tree logs, illusioner cabins, penguin dens, and igloos. I've only seen a couple of these so far, but I'm really excited to find some illusioner cabins in the future. I think those would be cool to check out. All right, so as I mentioned, Oh, uh, we need to get this now. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, Origin Realms has updated to 1.18. And as you probably know, 1.17 slash 1.18 is the Caves and Cliffs update. And in the blog post here for the Stone Cold update, it says that it was hard for the team to implement the new 1.18 terrain, since Origin Realms already has their own kind of terrain. So because of this, above ground, everything is the same. Um, It's just Origin Realms terrain. But underground is a reimagined version of 1.18's cave generation. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Let's see if we can find... I guess this is not a cave, really. Um, let's dig down. Let's see if we can find a cave. All right, I finally found a cave here. There's three creepers for some reason. Oh, there's a skeleton as well. Okay. Um, you guys can go down there. As you can see, cave generation is looking pretty cool. So basically, there's two sections to the cave. So from Y, from like Y level zero and above, you got like normal caves. And once you go down to Y level zero. Let's go ahead and go down there. Oh yeah, once you get to the Y level um, minus one, I think it is, you reach a layer of deep slate and once you mine through this, you end up in what is known as the depths. There's also another area when you reach the Y level zero and it's like a um, bunch of water and there's glow squids and tropical fish and stuff. So I'll show you that in a bit, but let's go ahead and head down here. Um, and this is the only place you can find platinum now. Uh, is there any around here? Oh yeah, there's literally some right there. Okay, but yeah, there's lots of ores down here. We got platinum, we got rubies. Um, we got some diamonds over there. There's also two new biomes. There's the lush caves and there's also the dripstone caves. As you can see, we have some dripstone here. Uh, oh, someone seems to have been here because there's another portal over there. Another thing you can now find are emeralds. I don't know how common they are. I've only found like maybe like 15 of them. But yeah, that's also in the game now. They don't only have a use yet because there's no villagers. There's also a new structure that generates in caves now. It is a minor outpost. Basically just a little area with a chest with some loot in it and um, a couple of pieces of furniture. There's like a sleeping bag and some logs or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty cool to find. I've only found, I think like three of them so far. And the caves down here are a little bit more dangerous than the normal caves, like above Y level zero because of all the lava and stuff down here. I've seen like four wraiths already. Also, one of the wraiths I saw had like a pumpkin on his head. I don't know what that was about. Also, sometimes mobs spawn wearing a Christmas hat. So that's a pretty cool feature. There's also a slate down here, which is one of the new blocks they've added into the game. Slate actually looks pretty cool. All right, I finally found a good cave. And here's what the water area that spawns around Y level zero looks like. There's glow squids over there. And somewhere says tropical fish. Is there any tropical fish in this one? I don't see any. There's like kelp and sea pickles, seagrass. And once you dig under here, you can start going down to the depths. As you can see, we hit the deep slate layer. So yeah, this is a pretty cool, pretty look cool looking cave. There's also um, a lush cave biome over there as well. I also seem to have stumbled across a minor outpost over here. All right, another thing they have changed in this update is that they have overhauled the realm presets. So if I go ahead and do slash realm reset, as you can see, they have all of these new ones here. We have the lush region, we have the arid region, tropical region, cold region, and arctic region. So basically, if you select one of these and reset your realms to that, you'll have a certain set of biomes in your realm. As you can see here, if we use the tropical region, we can have a jungle, jungle oasis, flower forest, birch forest, and swamp. So before, if you reset your realm, there's only like four or five choices. I can't quite remember. But um, as you can see, my realm is a desert and that is all it is. But now when you reset your realm, it'll have multiple biomes in it. So that's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and check out all of these. Even though generation is random, I still want to see how each of these looks. All right, because I don't want to reset my own realm, because I have items there and stuff. I got my brother to reset his because he has he didn't have anything on his realm. Um, and this is the lush region. 
as you can see here, we're in a plains. There's a swamp over here. There's also some mountains off in the distance over there. Um, a birch forest. Oh, there's an autumn forest over there. But yeah, you get the idea. All right, he is now resetting it to the arid region. Um, let's see. Oh, finally, I can finally see this biome. I couldn't find it earlier in the resource world. But yeah, we have the savanna, um, the desert, and we are in the, what is this called again? The oasis. Yes, that's what it was called. And these trees look really cool. Um, I don't know what happened there. They should have coconuts. I don't think there's any coconuts on these, are there? No, there's none. I feel like I saw it, um, coconuts on like the, the palm trees somewhere in the lobby. Oh, there's a parrot here. Parrot spawn here? Nice. This biome looks pretty nice though. I just realized that mountain over there looks really cool. It's like a cave area below it. Oh, it's, be it's behind the border though. All right, and on to the next one. Okay, we are now in the tropical region. Is this like the jungle oasis? I think it is. It just says jungle, but there's these uh, other trees here. Birch forest. I wonder if there's like a flower forest around here. I think it's just mainly jungle. I don't see anything else besides that birch forest back there. But yeah, I think these new regions for your realm are pretty cool because you can get a variety of biomes. All right, here we are in the cold region. You have a bunch of mountains. A forest over there. Another forest over there. Um, is like plains? What, what comes in this one again? Yeah, there's plains. A cold autumn- what is a cold autumn forest actually? I don't think I've seen that yet. Is it like an autumn forest but with snow? I have no idea. Alright, now it's on to the last one which is the arctic region. Got some mountains over here and then we're off to like the ice spikes. It's ice spikes, right? Ice spikes biome. Got a snowy plain- <gasps> there's penguins! three penguins here but yeah this is probably my favorite region preset the second one would probably be the arid region that one was pretty cool as well also for people who have a old realm and haven't reset it um apparently they've added the depths into uh their realm so let's actually go check that out let's go to my realm that is not the name of my realm actually let's go down here it should be almost the bottom of my realm so yeah i have to go to y level zero and i should be able to find um not that's not what I was looking for. But yeah, I should be able to find a layer of deep slate. Why is there so much lava? Okay, there we go. Dig through here. Yeah, I don't see any caves. I guess I'm just unlucky. But they've added that section just like how it is in the normal resource world. Where they have the depths under Y level 0. Alright, now it's time to talk about the last feature that was introduced in this update. And that is the gravestone system. So before, if you died and you didn't have a totem of keeping or a totem of dying, there was a very slim chance that you would be able to find your items again because there's multiple resource worlds and the resource worlds are also quite big. And if you didn't know your coordinates, you probably wouldn't be able to find your items ever again. But now with the graveyard system, if you die, it will leave a gravestone where you died and your items will be in that gravestone and um, you will appear here once you're dead. And all I have to do is talk to the grave digger and he will let you teleport back to where you died. For a price of 250 rubies, we can have up to three gravestones activated at the same time and um, they all last an hour. So if you don't go back to your death location and claim your items before the hour expires, then your items are gone. So let's go ahead and actually test this out. Let's go to the resource world. I'm gonna go ahead and let the spider kill me. Come on. Why is he struggling? <laughs> Doesn't actually deal that much damage. All right, let's go ahead and respawn. I should land. Yeah, I should end up at the graveyard. Okay, let's talk to the grave digger. There we go. Let's pay 250 rubies and it will send me back here. And there is the gravestone. Just have to right click this. And I can get my items back. Okay, I now have all of the Christmas event items. As you can see here, I have all of the cosmetics, the full tool set, and all of the furniture as well as all the decorations you can get from Santa's sleigh. I'd say my favorite decoration is probably the snow globe right here. Um, the Christmas lights are also pretty good for decorating and the wreath doesn't look too bad as well. My favorite cosmetic is definitely the snow globe. Um, the Santa hat, it, it's really expensive, but it just doesn't, doesn't look that amazing. The tool set is really, really nice. I love that it's animated. I think this might be my favorite tool set now. I'm not sure yet. So I like every one of these tools. I don't think there's any that I don't like. My favorite though is definitely this bow. And also the shield. It's not like really humongous like the Halloween one was. As for furniture, my favorite is the Christmas tree. Um, Santa sleigh looks pretty cool as well though. Especially because you can sit on it. Alright, now it's time for me to showcase all of the Christmas event items, so I hope you enjoy.
Alright, and that is gonna be it for this video, guys. I tried my best to show off all of the new stuff. I know I wasn't able to visit every new biome that was added, but I tried to find and show off everything I could that was released in this update. There was a lot added in this update, so it was a bit hard, but... Yeah, but overall, I really love this update. That's probably my favorite update so far. All of the Christmas-related stuff is great. Of course, you have all the new biomes, the blocks, um, the new cave generation, which I really like because mining is probably one of my favorite things to do on the server at the moment. As well as going out and trying to find structures and looting those. And that'll be more fun as well because they've added a few more new structures. But yeah, great job to the staff team on this update. They did a really good job. As always, if you'd like to check out the server for yourself, the IP is play.orgerealms.com. If you did enjoy this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!